or two. All right, now, so we go from the bigger high school baseball diamond to the softball diamond and a lot of top teams from the area. All right, let's take a look now. Another team with a perfect record, Woodland. They are first in Class M and fellow unbeaten Coventry first in Class S. So we transition from the mound to the circle. The Farmington Riverhawks played host to the Granby Bears. We'll jump into the fourth inning with the Bears already up 1-0. Rachel Aaronworth adds to their lead with this infield single. Then a few batters later, it's Farmington keeping Granby off the scoreboard. Natalie Lombardi fires it to home plate, and Brianna Williams is there to record the force out for the Riverhawks. Let's fast forward a few innings. It's Granby staying hot at the plate. Aaron Worth drives in two more runs with the RBI single. And then with the bases loaded, Olivia McGovern comes up big, clearing the bases and driving in three more for the Bears. Granby cruises to a 13-0 win. They are 9-5 on the season. Mary Hart Park, home to New Britain softball. And boy, the Golden Hurricanes were smacking the ball all over that park early against Connard this afternoon. A 6-1 advantage until Connard's defense decided to uh, take control. That's uh, Sophia Pinsett's throwing a runner out at third. That would end all the scoring for New Britain. And then Sydney Miranda, who's going to Ithaca in the fall, nearly hit that ball to Central New York, driving in two for Connor. Connor grabs the lead down one six to one, coming back to take a seven six lead. In fact, going on to put on a, a lot of big numbers wow. on the scoreboard, winding up with a 19, an 18 to six win, eighth win of the season for Connor. That's important because it gets him qualified for the state tournament.